thanks for the for the introduction. Um, so, uh, oops. So I will use Blackboard this time because I was I, I actually <laughs> I was told by by Jung Bess says I, I must use Blackboard. <laughs> so uh, so I prepare it using using chalk. Um, so as you know, in toric topology, uh, we study um, many different areas, um, <coughs> and many different areas of mathematics, uh, like algebra, ge geometry, and, to and combinatorics. So today, uh, I will uh, talk about some connection between combinatorics and algebra. So my talk consists of four parts. So first, I will give you some background. Background. And in the second part, I will review some some known results, some known result. And the third part, uh, I will talk about the the main theorem of this topic. Um, and and if we have time, I will give you the the, the outline of the proof. Okay. <coughs> Oh, oh! I, I, I forgot to thank the organizer for for inviting me here and give me the chance to talk here. So I, I already attended uh, this uh, this kind of event uh, two years ago in in Jeju Island, right? I really enjoyed that uh, that that event. So so I'm I've always um, I, I'm always glad to come here to give to talk about what I I discovered in mathematics and today. I will talk about some connection between algebra, as I, uh, algebra, and uh, and combinatorics. Combinatorics. Uh, we are toric topology. Toric topology. So, so, so the objects I'm going to talk about uh, in the combinatorics side is simply so complex. Complex, and in the algebra in the algebra side, I will talk about tau algebra of of the, the and the phase ring of the simply show complexes. So I will give some basic definitions at the beginning of these objects. <coughs> so in my talk, I let K to be a simply show complex. Simply show complex, and on a on on a set of vertices, I use m. M is a positive integer to represent the set of vertices, and the simplex in K. I use sigma or tau to represent a six six sigma uh, to represent a simplex in K, and they correspond to some. They considers as a subset of of M, and in my talk I use R to represent a field. In many in many papers and books, people use the the bold K to represent the, uh, the field. But in the blackboard, I, I think if I use bold K, it's, it's a little bit confusing sometimes. So so I, I use R to represent the field. So R, R is not a ring. It's a it's not it's not only a ring. It's it's a field. Um, and in particular, I use uh, this to represent a polynomial ring over R with m variables v1 to and to vm. And uh, I also use this to to denote this uh, this ring Rv. Okay. Um, in addition, I. I define RK, so this is a phase ring, or, 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 or Stanley, Stanley, Stanley Reisner ring, Reisner ring. So from any simplicial complex on M, we can, uh, and a field, we can define, uh, define <coughs> the phase ring in the following way. So RK is uh, is is a quotient ring of of this polynomial ring by some ideal 
generated by by the monomials of this form vi1 to vis where i1 is if we consider it as a subset of of m is not uh, is not a simplex in k so this is the phase ring and there are many study of this ring in the uh, combinatorial and um, it's called, it's called combinator in, in combinatorics and algebra. And an RK has a an RK has a natural uh, has a has an NM graded NM graded grade graded RV module structure. Um, this this module structure is 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 is, is obvious from from this definition. So, so 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 the polynomial ring can naturally act on on the phase ring R K, and uh, and there's a natural grading N M grading inherited from 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 this polynomial ring <coughs> also. For example, uh, for example we. So so here we say v i one k one v i s k s so so has n m grading say k one k s in uh oh sorry I shouldn't write it this way so 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 this is considered as a vector in n m. So 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 a, so so a polynomial like this we we define its grading is is this vector. So so the phase ring in inherits this this NM grading from uh, from this polynomial ring. Okay, so it has a has an NM graded uh, polynomial uh, uh, NM graded module structure over this polynomial ring. Okay. So from K we have this phase ring, and then next, in 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 the homological algebra we can. Hmm? They, they need not be consecutive. The dot 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 indicate. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Here it could be. Yeah. 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 It's really hard to write that down. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because. <laughs> Yeah, because I one I S may not be uh, con consecutive, so so it's <laughs> so so here there there should be <coughs> could be many dots. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here there could be uh, in the middle uh, there there could be many zeros. So 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 here it's a little <laughs> yeah, it's hard to write down. Okay, so next I will uh, introduce uh, so explain. The multigraded Betty number. And f so, so in the homological algebra, we know we can uh, we can define uh, so, so, so RV represents this polynomial ring. So, so we can define the tau uh, module or tau algebra of this uh, this ring because RK is a. Uh, uh, so it's a module over this poly polynomial ring, so we can define this. So, so, so the way is we uh, we 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 take a a free a pr projective resolution of this ring, and o o over this polynomial ring, and then we tensor it with with this field, and then uh, consider the trivial module o over this polynomial ring, and then we take cohomology. So this is a way to define the tor. But but by the by the Suzuki theorem, right? So we can actually find a minimal resolution of this. So, so there, there exists a minimal resolution. Um, so, 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 the, so we let it to be a minimal free. Free KV 
re uh, RV resolution of resolution of RK. Um, here we use the negative, uh, non-positive integer to to index this uh, uh, these modules, uh, uh, free modules, to make it look like a coaching coaching complex. Then its cohomology, and uh, is actually just this uh, and this modules because it's, it's minimal, so so the, the, all the differential vanishes. Then, then, so the tor R V I R K R then is it is nothing but negative F negative I, right? And and by and by by the classification of free module over of a free NM graded module over this polynomial ring, uh, we can decompose it as, uh, oh, yeah, we can decompose it as something like this, NM VA beta RK, RK IA. Okay. So, oh, okay. So, so this is, uh, so VA is, uh, VA is, uh, so this is a ideal contained in the, this. So this is a submodule over uh, uh, in, in 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 this <coughs> polynomial ring generated by where v a the, the notation is v one k one v m k m where a is k one. 2km is a vector of nm. So suppose a is a vector is it in nm, then va is, so this is a, just a notation, va is this, this polynomial. Then this is a submodule, an nm graded submodule of this polynomial ring generated by, uh, by va. Okay. So, so since so so since each f negative i is a uh, free or oh, here is an m graded m graded r v module over this polynomial ring so 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 this is a classification theorem that says we can always decompose f negative y i as a as a direct sum of this kind sort of special very special um kind of module so so this number beta r k i a. So so these are uniquely determined by by r k, or you can say these are determined by the uh, simplicial complex k and the field r. Okay. So these are some algebraic uh, invariants that we can compute from. This simplicial complex, or or from the, or you can say from this phase ring. So these are called multi-graded, multi-graded Beatty number, Beatty number <coughs> of k. Okay. And in the book of Professor Bush Tubman and Panoff, I think they, uh, I, I, in the first version of the book, uh, they, uh, they, I, I think they didn't really introduce th this one. They, they introduced bi-graded Beatty number. Uh, yeah, so bi-graded Beatty number is just, I think you, 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 if you take the sum of I, A, where, where the order, oh, oh, sorry. So, 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 it, so it, it's just certain kind of combination of, of this multi-graded Beatty number. So, uh, so this contain actually, I think this contains more more information than than bi-graded Beatty number. I will. Hmm? Where where's the? Can I can I erase? There's no there's no erase. <coughs> okay, oh here. Oh, 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 here, okay. <laughs> um, the A grading goes across the bi grading. The bi grading, so the first 
is the I projective dimension. Yeah, because so the A grade goes across. Yeah, the A grading is just more, more subtle. I, I mean, I, so, so, so I will explain later. Um, so, so this is multi graded Bailey number. And following the, uh, and the fact is actually, when you compute this by a uh, multi graded Bailey number, actually zero zero if A is not in this set. So, so this is just the Cartesian product of, uh, of 0, 1, m copies of 0, 1. Uh, it means if, if some coordinate of A is not 0 or 1, then, then it, it vanishes. So, so this is a fact. And and we can re so we can represent it this kind of vector a in another form so we can identify this set so so this is just uh, uh, um, the cartesian product of m copies of 0 1 so it, so this consists of uh, m dimensional vectors with with coordinates 0 or 1 and so, so the elements here can be identified with subsets of uh, of M. So for for any subset of say omega, so so suppose omega is like I one to to I s, then it so it, so it corresponds to some some um, some. In, in the middle of zero. Okay, so so, so I write it uh, write in this form. So it's I one, I two, I s. So so such kind of vector actually is one to one correspond to some subset of of M. This is one to one correspondence. So sometimes we we we, can, we, we also represent this kind of and by grade Bayesian numbers like omega, so 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 we let this uh, this vector by a omega. So for any subset of M, I can define a a vector of this form denoted by a omega. So so for simplicity, I I, I write this as i omega. Beta R K I omega defined to be beta R K I A omega. So this is just a change of notation. And the bigraded Bayesian number is just uh, so, so right here. So 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 bigraded number like I, I remember in something like this. So so this is just the sum of a beta I omega uh, R K where uh, where uh, the the number of elements in omega is j, so so you sum up sum up these multi graded Bayesian numbers, and you get bi graded Bayesian number. Okay. Mm. Yeah, two i is f. Yeah, because this is a minimal free resolution, so we don't we don't have differential. This is why. I mean, and this differential is zero. Um, okay, so this is roughly the our background. So we define simplicial complex, and a field, from a field we can define a phase ring, and from the phase ring uh, we can use the homological algebra technique to derive some algebraic invariant called multi-graded Bayesian numbers. Um, and we slightly change the notation because of because because of this fact, because uh, we, we we can use a subset of M to index all these non-trivial uh, multi-graded bit numbers. Okay, so this is a background. 
Next, let me introduce some known results. The known results are so first we can um, find a very nice way to compute compute these bigraded beta numbers where a formula called Hoekstra formula beta R K I omega is the dimension H Okay. Uh, this notation means uh, the full subcomplex of K restricted to the, uh, the the subset omega because omega is a is a subset of M. So we consider we consider omega as a subset of vertices of K. So K omega full subcomplex of K. So it means we can use, uh, uh, we, we, we can just compute the Euro cohomology of the su full subcomplex of K to determine all these bigraded uh, or uh, uh, multigraded Betty numbers. Okay. So this is our computation. On the other hand, the, to the some some objects in toric topology enter the picture. It's called moment angle complex. Maybe everyone here. Are familiar with this object, so I just write down the definition. So, moment angle complex is uh, the space defined in the following way: it's a subspace of Cartesian product of m copies <laughs> s one j m copies of. Two-dimensional disk. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I should. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I should order it, but, uh, but, but, but anyway, I think this <laughs> because I, 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 I index this uh, the, the the different copy by by J. So 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 I think you can. <laughs> Yeah. So d so d sub j is uh, d two sub j is just the j's copy of d two, and and and, and s one j is the boundary of d two j. Okay. And by push to and, and the work of Bush Tab and Panov shows that um, the cohomology ring of moment angle complex can be uh, actually can be computed by the tor by the tor algebra the h star of zk r is actually can be can be can also Matthias Franz. oh 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 you mean the ring stru you mean the, the, the ring structure okay so so Matthias <laughs> Friends. Okay. Uh, okay. So we can somehow say this can also be computed by uh, the cohomology ring of, of of zk. And and more precisely, we can uh, write uh, write this. Write the relation more explicitly. Um, so, So for any Q, the Q-dimensional cohomology of ZK can be computed by uh, by the uh, by the sum of sum of some bigraded weight number. 
or you can say it can be computed by the cohomology of some some full subcomplex complex of of k. Okay, so this is one way to to explicitly compute the cohomology of of zk. Yes, I mean, uh, so for the first equation you wrote on the left side. Uh, huh? Yeah. The upper script of TFS, maybe it should be I minus the absolute top of that. Here? Here? Is it right? Mm. Maybe it should be I minus normal omega minus 1. Uh, you, you've got to compute how those betas are related to the Q. Mm-hmm, yes. I... Yeah, the, uh, the order... Yeah, 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 I think it's... Uh, is a form, there is a form that yeah, yeah. the two vertices. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This has this side, they are different. So, so actually we can compute it in, in this way. So so the dimension of uh, the dimension of this one is just the sum of beta R K two omega minus Q omega like this. So, so, so we can say the Bayesian the, the Bayes number of zk um, can be computed by the, this multigraded <coughs> Bayesian numbers in this way. This looks like kind of the cohomology of common element complex is tor tor L. Yeah. So H i is the mm. same as tor i. Um. <laughs> Two yeah, the, the, so so so. Minus so, 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 plus Q has has to add up to the total dimension. Of the yeah, 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 yeah. You're here. The, right. You're here because there, there are two gradings, right. and so so you, so you have to add uh, add yeah, them yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah together. Uh, minus I is one. Mm -hmm. is the internal yeah, yeah. So 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 here you need to be yeah a, a little careful. Okay. So so anyway, we can say that tor algebra are um, RK R H O. Oh. So so we have different ways to relate the tor algebra of the phase ring of R K with full sub complex of K. So so this is a combinatorial side. This is an algebraic side. So one way is we use just the Hoxter's formula. Hoxter's formula. Another way is we can say that we can use this zk, right? So so we have different ways to relate these two objects. Okay, then. Uh, They're really the same, but. Yeah, but but uh, yeah, essentially, I mean, you, you can say the same, but but uh, but but I think the uh, somehow. Well, well, of course, this happens first. Well, people know how to compute this a long time ago, uh, and and then, then this top, this topological space ca ca comes into the picture, and then, then then Gustav Penov and the Mathieu friends show that actually we can find another way to compute it. Okay. So how, how much time do I have? Ten minutes. Oh, okay. I have to be very fast because I I, I, I think there's too many formulas, so I I I, 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 I may not be able to finish this time. Uh, so the no. So the theorem by by Tao and, and Professor Julu and Ust Usti Novisky. 
I think they in, they independently around two, 2011, they independently show that the dimension of Um, the homology of, of monomial complexes at least two to the m minus dimension k minus one. So, so this is a one colory of, of their paper. It's just very, very, very simple colory of, of their paper. So, so, th so, th so this result just tells you this because the sum of all the, all the Bayesian numbers of zk, I think this equals the sum of all multi-graded multi-graded Bayesian number n numbers of, of k. So it means the sum of all possible multi-graded Bayesian numbers of k has a very general lower bound determined by k. Is the sum of omega the sum of beta r k i omega i? So, so this sum equals this one, just the sum of all the possible multigrid Bayesian number. Uh, also, this sum then then by the Hoxha's formula, uh, this means the sum of the, the, the sum of all the Bayesian numbers of Bayesian numbers of of the full subcomplex or full subcomplex <coughs> subcomplex of K it is at least uh, uh, this one. So, so, so no matter what the comp sub uh, the simplicial complex K is, if you s if you sum up all the Bayesian numbers of all its full subcomplexes, then there's a very general lower bound. By, by this one. This seems quite non trivial <laughs> because it has no restriction on the simplicial complex K. Okay. But later, later uh, in 2012, the Ustinovsky found that actually this. And, and this and this this result actually follows from uh, an, a, a very known result in homological algebra, a, and and he showed that yeah this is what he showed. He showed that actually for each fixed i, if you sum up all the bigraded Bayesian number at the, at a degree i, is actually greater or equal to m minus dimension k minus 1 i. So, so th of course, this one is, mu is much stronger than, than, than this. Because if you sum up all i, then you, you got that inequality, right? So for each i, for each fixed i, he says, the sum of this collection of multigraded Bayesian number, you get, th so this is a binomial coefficient as a lower bound. Okay, and, and, and this is a very <coughs> strong inequality, but but but, uh, <coughs> but 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 this follows from some very early result in algebra. So so actually there, are <laughs> so, so this one is a very easy application of this one. Okay, how many minutes do I have? So, so, so I will introduce my, my result. Five minutes, okay. So the third part is the main theorem. The main theorem. So my result want to, want to generalize this one. So, uh, so, uh, so I have to introduce one more notion, the vertex coloring. So, so suppose I have a vertex coloring of K. Vertex coloring just means we we, uh, we assign a color to to each vertex of K, so that um, if two vert if two vertices uh, <coughs> any any adjacent vertices by an edge have different color, so 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 we call the vertex coloring. So, huh? Uh, no, no. It, so it, it's not always possible. So 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 I, I mean, if, if we have a, a vertex coloring, 
then um, so, so, so suppose so, so for example so so this is the example right so 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 we have simply so complex and suppose I color this one by C1 and this by C2 and this by C3 okay so so this is the vertex coloring of course we all always have a trivial coloring I, I mean I, I I color each vertex by different color so so, so that's a trivial coloring right but uh, but this is a special one uh, this is a special one and and any vertex coloring det determines a partition partition of m partition partition of of the vertex set so suppose i have r coloring uh, and then the alpha i is is just as the vertices color with color with the ice color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so if two vertices are, are are connected by an edge, then they must have different color. So, so this is so this definition is the definition of coloring in in the graph theory. So so when you color graph, you you. Yeah, yeah. It's just one condition. Okay. Suppose we have a vertex coloring of K. And then, the, then the vertex, vertex coloring determines a partition, partition of the vertex set M. Okay, then from this, we we get we get um, so from this we get some colored so so. Alpha I L E. So I uh, um, I let R to be the, the the set of colors, set of colors. So so this means we, I, we say we have R colors. So this is a set of colors. So for any L in this set of colors, I can take I can define R, uh, o omega alpha L to be to be those vertices that are colored by the color in, in L. So this is a union of alpha I. Okay, this is alpha L. So, 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 so we get a collection of colored full subcomplex of subcomplex of K. So for, so say for, for this example, we have, th we have three colors. And so we have total of uh, so this empty set and C1 and C2, C2 and C3, C3. So we have eight colored simplicial complex in, 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 in this example, right? C1, C3, C1, C3 and, uh, and C1 or C3, C2, C2. C three, and, and and the last is K itself. So so we had eight, eight full subcomplex complex of K. So so with with colors. Okay. Okay. Now I can write down the main theorem. <laughs> so this uh, set of color R is given in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. So when we have vertex coloring, we choose R colors. So R just just denotes these colors. The information has to go down as mm -hmm. R goes up. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. So yeah. he wants to minimize R. Right, yeah. his goal. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, it's, it's just a coloring of the one skeleton of K. Yeah. yeah. That doesn't mean that you're looking for the full subcomplex, which is color C1. You're, you're looking at the... Uh, Oh, uh, full subcomplexes. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, when <laughs> maybe you can just say special full subcomplexes. Okay, so 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 we define some special full subcomplex. It's uh, because here we have five vertices, so supposedly we should have thirty-five full subcomplexes. But now I only take by by this definition only take eight. Very special for subcomplexes, right? 
Yeah, for example, C1, C2, C3 is not considered, it's not here, right? Because they, they have three colors, but they didn't have, a, contain all the vertices with the same color. Okay. So, so, so the theorem is this. Is this. Um, if we take some special uh, A special multi graded Bayesian number of this form, we, we also have some very similar lower bound like this. So, so when, when the color is a trivial coloring, I mean, when we color all the vertices by different colors, then this recovers, uh, recovers the Ustinovsky's inequality. But when when the coloring is less, and, and we use, if we use less colors, then then this one uh, I think is, is is independent from from from, from there. So so this implies that uh, when we uh, the sum the sum of all the Bayesian numbers of <coughs> Bayesian numbers of or all these special, special subcomplexes, uh, special full subcomplexes, of K, is also has has also have some low, very very general lower bound like this. So originally, we, we say that um, the sum of all the the numbers of all simply uh, all full subcomplexes is bounded by two to the m minus dimension k minus one. So this is uh, the result by Professor uh, Tulu and Wojtynowski. But here we say, actually, we so if we have this coloring, then the sum of all these special full subcomplexes of k, the, the, if we sum up their Bayesian numbers, is also has also bounded. By, by this, it's a very general lower bound. It, it's determined by k and the, the color, the number of colors r. Okay, so uh, of course the, the, this is much stronger than this one. So, so this is for each i, for each fixed i, we have this, we have this inequality. So this is some sort of combination of uh, uh, multi-graded Bayesian number. So this is a generalization of Ustinovsky's inequality. But all this actually come from some, uh, some known result in, in homological algebra. So, so, so maybe I, I, I should write down, the, write down this uh, the theorem. Maybe I already run out of time. One minute, okay. Okay, so, so, so uh, okay, okay, anyway, I already stated the main theorem. <laughs> um, so, the, so, 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 so the main theorem we use in, in our argument is, is, is by Chara Lambus 991. And also, there's some early work. I, I, I think Griff's 88. Okay, so they claim that you, so if M is a R, so is a is a module of this polynomial ring of. Originally, Evans and Griff's show, say that if M is of is of monomial type, monomial type. And, and later. Uh, Terolambus says, w actually, we can remove this, uh, uh, remove this. Then, then, th then when, when we compute their tall algebra, uh, their dimension is greater or equal to, for, for each fixed i, when we compute the dimension of the tall module at degree i, then it's greater or equal to the core dimension m m min oh sorry the, the, the m is uh, the, so this is r v one to v m minus 
the, the code dimension of m choose i. So, and yeah, yeah, because this one, it, 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 so this is exactly the uh, r k r at i, right? So this one is exactly this one. Okay, okay so I, I finish. I, I don't have time to explain the proof. Okay. So what is the, the mm -hmm. advantage of your theorem? Mm -hmm. If you are able to find the minimum number of colors, mm -hmm. then you get yeah, yeah, yeah. simpler. Yeah. Is that right? It, it puts more and more of the structure of the simplicial complex in. So yeah. These forms are only depending really on the dimension, and then you have to enumerate all the full subcomplexes by hand. Yeah. The oh, you mean that, but here you have to yeah. say. I mean, the number of full mm -hmm. special full mm -hmm. subcomplexes. Mm -hmm. If you choose. The number, minimal number of coloring, mm -hmm. you are able to do that for a given complex, simplicial complex. Yes. So then you can reduce. Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Because you're using more information about the simplicial complex to yeah, make yeah. that estimate. Well, nothing is free. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think that maybe uh, you also can consider the uh, configuration space. Hmm? Uh, you can use the skeleton of the simplicial so to construct a uh, uh, configuration <coughs> space. Ah. That uh, is very uh, the space of colors. Mm. Yeah. Also, uh, you can use the topological method to. to uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, maybe didn't there's some other reason. Yeah. Mm. Didn't Dietrich not bomb write a paper about coloring simplicial complexes? This. Remember a paper by Dietrich? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I noticed a paper, and I think they relate to this to some vector, uh, some splitting of some bundles and, uh, all over the Davis Yanskovich space. I, I, I remember there is this such a paper appearing last year. Yeah. It's very hard to get out information, it's very hard. But you, any progress is good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This kind of so, so this theorem just tells you that actually um, there uh, once we have some sort of coloring of, of this uh, this simplicial complex, then we can actually find more relations between this uh, this bigraded Bayesian numbers, or 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 equivalently, you can say we have more relations between the Bayesian numbers of the some special full sub complexes of K. So it means there's some very general phenomena underneath. Are there any other, are there any other questions? Oh. Would anybody like to ask? No. Okay, okay. Well, we'll see you in five minutes. Let's thank us. Okay. 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 okay.